Hi everybody and welcome to Josiah is Right. So with me is Penelope because earlier this year in July, her and Judy took me to a place called Hicksville Pines in Idaho, California. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it, Penny? Now, a quick disclaimer, Penny did go with me, but they recently just changed their policy and they're gonna actually have a dispensary on site, which means they will be selling marijuana, and um, which is legal here in California. And I have no problem with that. Personally, I don't smoke, but Penny would no longer be able to go because it'll be 21 plus. So kids can't go, but it would, it is honestly, at least where we stayed was a great place for kids. So first up, an update on the fact that they changed it to a dispensary that actually now is officially in place as of November of 2017. You can no longer take a kid. This place is amazing. It has a number of theme rooms built inside of old A-frame chalets. These chalets were purchased from the Sears catalog in the 1950s. More recently, in 2015, writer-director Morgan Higby Knight, this guy, according to IMDb, took a day trip to Idlewild. Morgan decided the world needed another Hicksville. Their other one, a trailer park version near Joshua Tree, opened in 2010. With this second go-around, Morgan teamed with Dita Von Tees and Third Man Records. They paid homage to Dolly Parton, John Waters, his favorite ride, hence a haunted mansion room, and his favorite TV show, which I'm not sure what room that refers to, that's beyond me. The property is great. As you can see here, the chalets are really unique and interesting in their own right, just from a historical perspective, the fact they were purchased from Sears. You can see here, the leading up to each room, the bottom and the top each have a different room on them. So the bottom is themed one way, the top is themed another way. So that's how they're set up here at Hicksville Pines. The property itself is beautiful. It's just set on the hill. Everything looks really cool. It's, you feel like you're in another time with the chalets and the way everything's laid out. You feel like you're certainly not as close to Los Angeles as you actually are. It's just really beautiful. Each of the chalets has a really bright color, as you can see here in the purple one, that just really makes the place pop against the brown and green of the landscape of Idlewild. It's a really cool place to visit, and I highly recommend it. Even if you have kids, they do allow kids over Christmas time. So there's a few weeks a year they allow it. Up here, you'll see the Devil's Arcade. So they have their own arcade, which is really, really very cool. And inside, you'll see actual working arcade machines, as well as like a Nintendo Wii and things like that. Some pinball machines. It was really fun. We enjoyed these when we were up there. You can see the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Some arcade games, classic stuff. Akira, of course, hanging out with us as we check these things out. Of course, great retro arcade gaming, like track and field you see there. The games were really fun. The pinball machines were really awesome. And again, Defender here, it just made it feel like you were in another time, in another space, in another place. And you certainly are when you go to Hicksville Pines. You sort of escape time. Again, another reference to the Haunted Mansion. We see Buddy the Elf. Of course, John Waters already mentioned is a big influence. It has a bar here, which we really didn't enjoy, but it was cool to just check out as we visited. And of course, in a second here, you see coming up the jukebox in the back. The jukebox is really cool. It adds a really great ambience to that section. It was really fun to be in the arcade. However, the very best part was the room we stayed in called, fittingly, Nerds. <laughs> so we were on the second floor of the A-frame, so it probably meant a little bit less space. But you can see here Akira approaching the door to Nerd. So the bottom was a different room, which I cannot recall the theme, but it was themed totally differently from ours as Akira waits as we approach the door to enter the world of nerds. So what do you think the world of nerds holds? It holds everything you can imagine that a nerd or a geek, I personally would prefer to call it geeks, but nerds is more Revenge of the Nerds type nerd. Geek is sort of what I see myself as. And here we go. Entering, there you see Judy and Penny, and bunk beds, because nerds need bunk beds. And of course, a Stormtrooper light and a, an Akita, which does not come with a room. We had to bring our own. And you can see here, these are really cool posters. They're very much a lot of mashups. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of mashups myself, but it's fun. I would rather just have like an Empire Strikes Back poster, a Flash poster, but I can see what they were going for. And some of these really actually were quite cool. Um, the Ninja Turtle one, for example, was good, combining that with that Spider-Man style. The Star Wars Small World there is probably my favorite. The Giving Tree is pretty cool. But again, I would prefer just posters for what these things are. But the cool thing is it kind of wraps up and around the wall, as you can see there, as it flips over here and it goes down the other side with X-Men and other references. Jesus is Star Wars, I guess. 
Hicksville Pines and Nerds certainly made me want to get some wallpaper because you can see here you have Space Invaders transitioning to a Zelda map wallpaper. It is really, really very cool. There's also Tetris, other wallpapers that just give the walls a lot of flavor and color. And it's really fun because it's quite a dark room. You can see here Pac-Man on the arcade. I actually miss Pac-Man. But the arcade, it's like sort of a multi-cart type arcade. So you have a lot of different games you can play on here. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. I enjoyed playing the arcade version of Gunsmoke. And I'm not sure how many games are on there, but there are quite a few. You can see here Judy enjoying the game as we transition up into, oh, fittingly, Pac-Man wallpaper. So that's the first wallpaper you're greeted with when you come in. And it's just super fun and cool. You have an endless, never-ending loop of a Pac-Man game. It's not Miss Pac-Man in the case of the wallpaper, but it is Miss Pac-Man in the case of the game. Although I do believe it has pretty much every version of Pac-Man you can believe on that multi-card. There's quite a few games on there. Games that I'd never heard of, sequels that I didn't know existed, things like that. And here, transition to another wallpaper here which is a Donkey Kong wallpaper so you can see that again these wallpapers are really cool and each one just gives it a uniqueness and really adds character to the room in a fun way that is very fittingly nerds so beyond Han Solo and Carbonite is our second room so the front room is sort of the sleeping area the back room is the gaming area you can see there's a table which is meant to be for Dungeons and Dragons play which I have never played in my life and don't see myself playing but beyond that you can see the televisions with two TVs with two PlayStation 4s here you can see the awesome bookshelf which is just full again of geeky stuff graphic novels great books great works of fiction all kinds of stuff that you can imagine of course there's some board games down in the lower section really great shelf uh, it has that sort of policy take a book leave a book so we did take something and i can't remember what it was but we left something behind of course uh, you'll see the games on there and things like that the encyclopedia britannica as you can see this is when penny was a little bit smaller she's still small she's not quite a year as i record this but she was just hanging out on the couch as I played some games and watched myself on YouTube. So Penny enjoys watching me. If no one else does, Penny does. But you can see there, there was an NES Classic, which was awesome to get to play that. And Akira also hanging out with us in the game room. You can see here the game setup. There's an NES Classic, there's an Atari flashback, there's a Sega Genesis flashback. All of those aren't nearly as good as that NES flashback. It really holds up a lot stronger than the other systems. As I already said, there are two PlayStation 2s on two televisions. It was really fun. I was watching Netflix on one TV and playing games on the other. So if you're a nerd and you now smoke weed, this is the place to stay. If not, even if you don't smoke weed and you just want to hang out, you can go and have a really great time. But again, you won't be able to take your little ones unless they're 21, which I guess these things aren't so little at 21. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And take your... Yeah! yeah! Take your kids on fun trips, even though they can't go anymore because they changed their rules to 21+. plus. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.